Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is another beer from Untitled Art, which is a collaboration between Funk Factory Grizzaria, it's brewed at Octopi Brewing in Wisconsin, and then it is a collaboration with a third party, and this one is with Jackie O's. Uh, this is Barley Shake, so again, it is a collaboration in the sense that it has an artist, and there's a specific art for each uh, label, and then they just simply give you the name of the beer. So Barley Shake is not very descriptive, but from what I understand, it is a barley wine, 12% brewed with lacto uh, lactose, so you know, like mix that. So it's not octopi. O octopi, o octopi. How do you like to pronounce it? Optimus. You guys tell me, you Wisconsinites. Wisconsinites. I don't know. What it Wisconsinite. Is. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, anyway, <laughs> the beer comes in a uh, what is that? It's like a like an amber color. The, yeah, I should wash the glass a little bit better. But anyway, uh, comes in a kind of I'd, I'd call this like a medium, uh, medium, medium amber color. It has a little bit. Of this, bit of this kind of bronze and orangish hue to it, um, almost like a rusty kind of uh, tinge to it, a little bit of orange, and then it has a really funky nose to it, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, uh, head to it, the he head is actually quite yellowy slash orangey, mm -hmm. right? Let's give you a nose on the phone. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's uh, B.I.L., Barley Wine is Life, that is Barley Wine for days. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you smell on that? Kind of sweet and citrusy. Yeah, there's a little bit of happiness, happiness, so it might accentuate a little bit of citru uh, citrusy, but it's straight, big, boozy malt. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I imagine it's full on Maris Otter, so there's a little bit of that toasty thing coming in. Uh, there's full, a little bit of booze as well, also like a dried date and dried fruit character. Yeah, smells like barley wine. It smells bo boozy, smells big, smells malty. Cheers. Okay. Have you had barley wine before? Yes, with you. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do you think about that? What do you get on the flavor? Was this aged in barrels? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't believe so, but possibly, possibly. I don't know. Uh, to me, it doesn't taste like it's been aged in barrels. It's, it doesn't have that. It, I would have hit it on the nose with a, a lot of that kind of a coconut vanilla kind of. Um, no, I just kind of expected it would have been, I guess. It doesn't have to be. You can have non barrel aged barley ones. Um, I mean, it's pretty boozy. What mm -hmm. is this, 12%? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 12%. A little bit boozy, quite sweet up front. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a little bit of that kind of caramelized sugar thing, a little bit of that kind of like just um, caramel hard candy. Yeah, uh, it's bready. Bready. A little bit of those um, Halloween caramel peanut butter chews. A little nutty, a little peanut buttery, a little bit sweet. Like the, the it's almost, taffy? It's almost like taffy. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's a chewy one that sticks on your tongue and it tastes like peanuts. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what I immediately got. Sugary, brown sugar, classic notes of uh, barley wine. It's not quite o that obvious that it has uh, lactose to it because the beer mm -hmm. generally and style wise is a little sweet. It tastes sweeter like the further I get into it, I think. Yeah, so there is a little bit of extra bump of sweetness. Um, it also has a nice kind of bounce to it. There's a kind of a straight like bark laden, very woody uh, bitterness. Mm -hmm. uh, the beer bitters out, has a dryness. It almost has like a tannin thing, which is very confusing. So I actually don't know if it's sat in barrels because it's very dry in the mouth. It's almost like there's wood tannins driving on this one, which is a little confusing. So this might have been Asian barrels, but it's just not very obvious with, with, obvious with barrel character, but with wood character. See, that's what I tasted, was mm -hmm. like the wood character initially. It's, that's why I asked. it's very woody. It, it's almost like wine, you know, yeah. that tannin that you get. It's very tannic. So it's very interesting. Sweet, malty, uh, punching the face, a lot of that kind of complex sugary, brown sugar, caramel uh, thing that you get in barley wines, but then that tannin thing, which is pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you get? For it as a rating, give it as a rating. Um, hmm. this isn't this isn't really like a style that I would drink often unless sure. I'm like drinking for a cause at twelve percent. <laughs> um, We're splitting it so good. <laughs> what? We're splitting it so good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, I think overall, like I, I enjoy the sweetness. Um, sure. You know, I'm kind of curious to see what it's going to be like after it warms up for a couple more minutes. Sure. I, th I think it'll probably be a little bit sweeter even. Um, I think I would go ahead and give this one, let's say an 86. Mm -hmm. mm. I think it's pretty interesting. It's um, not overly hoppy that I don't like in my uh, American style barley wines. It has a little bit of like that kind of drying thing. So it, like it's almost plays that edge. Um, pretty good. Um, not the most complex and rich. Uh, sometimes you get these really interesting kind of like raisin date fig notes. This one has a little bit of that, but not super, super uh, deep. Uh, a little bit 
a little bit of that sweetness, and the lactose actually plays fine because the beer generally is a, can be a little bit sweet of a style. Uh, this for me gets a 90. 90. So this is Barley Shake from Jackie O's and Untitled Arts. This is Katie. This is Darwin. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.